Thanks for visiting AwesomeEvent.com. Today we're going to show you a tutorial video on how to make a movie night centerpiece, which is a great party theme for a Hollywood movie theme party, for a bar mitzvah, bat mitzvah, sweet 16, or any type of event that you want to do with that type of theme. And we can mix and match colors to match you know, whatever your theme is. As of now, we're basically doing a movie night centerpiece. So the first thing I'm going to start doing is working on the base. When the bases come from us, they basically have the glitter top or painted top and whatever ribbon edge you want on the edge. Okay, adding the foils into the base is that you take a piece of one color and you put the other color on top. What we do is we have an insertion tool which we pretty much put in the center. And sometimes if you want, you can stick it in a little hot glue or use a glue gun, put a little hot glue on the tip, kind of look where your last one was, you go a few inches over, stick it in there about a half of an inch down, and pull it out with the foils. Sometimes the videos or the instructions that we send, and we send instructions with all of our kits, they come unassembled, but all the items have the rods and everything in it, so you can pretty much you know, put it together pretty quickly. You can always call us for help if you have any problems. But the reason that we don't ship completed kits is that first of all, the shipping would be too expensive if we had to put individual kits in a box already made up. And chances are they would end up getting damaged, you know, in shipping. Alright, so you got your base already done. So now it's now it's now you pretty much fluff up the foil. And if you want all in all, we actually will charge you extra if you want us to put the foils in the base, depending on how much time you have, because we usually can ship orders out in two to three days. Okay, so the next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna take these little ting pieces. You should get five of them, plus the little stars. They go into the center of the base, they just stick right into the styrofoam. I and mean, if you want to basically want, you can basically put a little hot, little hot glue on the tip of them and that'll make them stay in there. But usually the styrofoam bites in there good enough that it doesn't really matter how much stuff is in there because regardless, your centerpiece is going to look awesome. And I don't know if I mentioned it before, but we also sell the glue guns and the glue pots on the website. Our suggestion is always to basically use a low temperature glue gun because then it tends not to ruin the styrofoam. The next thing you put in is you put your clapboard in off to the side a little bit. Just like that. And again, you can put a little hot glue on the, on the end of the acrylic rod and make it stick in there a little bit tighter. Uh, but it's really not necessary. The styrofoam tends to hold it in there good enough. All right, so we got that in there. All right, the last thing that we do is you basically take, we send you these little straight pins. You pretty much take the 35 millimeter film, you pin it down into the styrofoam base and kind of just wrap it around and just keep continue to pin it around just so it gives you kind of more of an outline. I'll do it more kind of in the front so you can see it a little bit better. You know, things like this, just to give a little highlight of a, you know, a film strip of some sort in there. Okay, continue to wrap it around it. But it's kind of more of an eyeball thing. You can kind of judge, you know, kind of where you want it to go and, you know, how much of it you want to show, you know, Everybody has their own opinion about certain things. You know, so no matter what, there's really no right or wrong way to do the centerpieces. Alrighty, cooking. And that's it. Only took me about less than five minutes to do one centerpiece. You figure basically if you have 10 centerpieces to do, you figure, you know, take an hour, hour and a half, and you should be good. It's a very economical way to do it. Like I said, we can mix and match colors and 
can do what you, you know, kind of whatever your theme colors you guys want to use. Um, but that's about it. Very simple. A lot of our kits are made the same way, just with different elements. Um, so visit www.awesomeevent.com and happy partying. Have a great day.